Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're reviewing Legacy J Storm Fighter. Um, let's take a look at the minifigures. Go with the bad guys first. Take some. I don't know who this is. I think this is like Lasha or something. But he's a really good minifigure with a really good print all around. Okay. That's his back print. Pretty good, pretty good. Not better than the original washer. The original washer is much better, but that's just my opinion. So for the next guy, I kind of have to hold him because it's five foot and he does not fit on my stand. So his tail is a rubber type piece until you get up to here, then it's plastic. That's his back frame. This minifigure is pretty good. There's his front 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 printing. His face, or head, whatever you want to call it. It's kind of both. Okay. And his weapon is this. Now let's take a look at the heroes. We got, we got Jay in this set. Duh. Okay, he fell. And as you can see, I've got a lot more videos that are coming out today. Okay, let's get back. So, Legacy J, I don't know if I reviewed him before, but he's here. He's got kind of like this cross guard thing like Nia does, like Nia and Kai does in Season 8. His back frame, he's got two faces. And then Mia, I gave her a custom spear, just so y'all know. It's not what comes in the real set. Um, and then, this minifigure is amazing. One of the best Nia's, in my opinion. So, he's, she's got that. There's her faces. It's the legacy, like, legacy face, like it was with Hero Nia. Leggedy. Okay, now we're, we're done with the minifigures. Let's take a look at these. This is first. Um, it's just a little nice little build. Uh, the snakes can rotate. I don't know if they're supposed to, but you can put them down like this if you wanted to. But I think they're supposed to stay like this. Got Jay's nunchucks and some brick pieces and all of that. The back's red too. Now we'll take a look at the big boy. Um, this is that part's easy to break, but this is too big. It won't even fit on my whole camera, so I'll just have to show you bit by bit. The cockpit's first. The cockpit is pretty cool. It can fit one minifigure in it. Y'all, well, let me get Jay in here. That's what it looks like. In the seat is a little contraption. There's actually space in it to where you can put the nunchucks of lightning. It's kind of hard to see back in there. But uh, the cockpit's pretty nice. It's got two printed pieces and a little lever. Lightning bolt right here. And a bunch of other stuff. So now we move on to the middle part. This is a play feature, which I'm not going to show you yet. And this is just the back part, pretty much. And did I mention that this thing can come off if you really wanted it to? It's actually pretty in devious kind of thing, because if it were a leg regular Lego set, this would be the top, and this would be the bottom. But... It goes in like that. So it's like upside down. Pretty clever. Um, back here we got some detail. I don't know what this is supposed to be, but there's a faint place where you can put your fingers. And then these can tilt back and forth. This guy's a little dusty. I'm just noticing that. Um, I don't know what this is back here. I guess there, this is the engine. There are supposed to be flip fire missiles, but I don't know where they went. So I'll just show y'all the play feature now. Okay, 
So, kind of holding the camera. It can spring open. Like this. It's a pretty good point picture. I'll show you it from this angle too. It is all pulled together by a string. Pretty complicated build, might I add. And there is a sticker in there. I wish I didn't put those on, but I did, so. The blades in here are the blades from the, I think they were introduced in the Tournament of Elves. Um, we'll just put this up as a blooper.